had the uh, knee reconstruction in December, um, December the 21st. So um, just been a, been a long nine months so far. Just getting back to uh, you know training, um, getting back to running, uh, getting back to doing strength work. So it's uh, it's been a long nine months, but uh, I've definitely learned a lot. I think it's uh, the recruiters have got. Um, you know, some thinking to do, especially with me not being able to play all year. Um, have to go back on vision of last year and uh, yeah, see what I could do then, and um, yeah, hopefully get on an AFL list at the end of the year. When I speak to the recruiters, they sort of, uh, it's a bit harder with me, they don't give me much. Um, you know, I'm sure all the boys, they don't give much, but um, yeah, you walk out and sometimes, especially last year when I spoke to them, they, they give me things to work on, and but especially this year, you just walk out and you, you think, oh geez, were they interested, were they not? Last year, I had a pretty consistent year, so I was pretty happy with that, and um, you know, if that's what they're looking back on, you know, I'm not going to... I don't worry about that. In the draft, you have similar players that play like you. It's just probably something that, you know, if you have something that stands out a bit more than they do. So, um, you know, there's a lot of players in the, in the key defensive group anyway um, that I play similar to. I think just me being competitive is probably um, the biggest strength of mine and, uh, yeah, just, you know, ability to adapt to different players that I play on, you know, throughout the game and um, throughout each week. As soon as I step into a pre-season, wherever that may be, um, I'm ready from day one. So that's been the aim, you know, ever since I had the knee reconstruction. So um, hopefully I can walk in day one and do everything they ask me to and um, go on from there.